in this video we are going to enroll one user with uh, user ID and password and we will see that uh, how we can log in with the created user and password and what is the different difference between the administrative privilege uh, means privileged users and the normal users so I first log in with uh, the administrator login and I create one user so for creating one user I click on site administration and I'll go to users click on add a new user so here I just enter the if you remember we did it at the time of installation or even after that also so I created one user here manual account then I'll create my password you have to ensure that your password is as per the this particular uh, requirement otherwise it will not allow to proceed and uh, I just give the name here and uh, I can give any name here because this email ID is not the correct one I simply gave it and uh, email display so you can set the information allow everyone to see my mail or hide my mail address from non privileged user or allow only other course member to see my email address and you can write uh, the detail about the this particular user or later also you can make changes you can add the picture if you have uh, in your system so you can add or you can leave it also that is that you can edit later and then additional name if you want to give it alternate name you can give here whatever the interest of this user if you have idea so you can give the list of interest and then create user so this particular user has been okay let me it is not taking because it, maybe there may be a user so I create again okay so I'll reload sometimes it happens that when uh, we keep on working on the particular server so it creates problem and now I can see that my user is created so I just log out here I just log out here and now I go to this particular course and then I click on the particular uh, with login ID Tripathi and uh, I think it was Tripathi DP and then I give the password and enter on login button so I can see I entered in this particular dashboard I am inside my dashboard where I can get the information about my profile grade message preferences and other dashboard site home private file I am the member in the model because my name has been created but you can notice here that I am getting the information that you cannot enroll yourself in this course because this particular ID has been added manually and this user has not been enrolled in this course so this is the one very uh, important thing we have to notice that when we create any user ID that ID has to be enrolled in any particular course then only that user will be able to log in and see the content so I just log out first and now I log in with my user ID of the administrator and then log in so first I will add that user I'll go to site home I'll see that course click on that course I refresh the page and now I can go to participants enroll user and here I can search my that user ID RK Tripathi 
there uh, I created one more Tripathi DB. I just add it and now click on enroll. So now you can see the number of total participant. It is showing three. Earlier it was two, and uh, recently I added this particular ID, this particular user. Now let let me log out and uh, log in with my user ID. Uh, which I have uh, created uh, means for that user so it will uh, show whether so I created the uh, means uh, I added that user and uh, if I go if I go to that particular course now if I click on workshop on Moodle so you just see here that I am able to access because I have been enrolled in this particular uh, the course so this is the difference between the non privileged user and the user who is enrolled in that particular course so as a student I have added and uh, uh, now le let us uh, discuss the important thing here I just log out here and again I log in with my user ID of administrator so I logged in as a administrator so I go to site home and I go inside my course and here I can see the lot of uh, things left navigation bar having many options so we will be discussing one by one so out of all we have discussed one that how we can enroll the number of students or users in that particular course so this is uh, one we will be talking about the badges in other video and competencies and grades everything we'll talk about now let us see first uh, that uh, the the area where we have to add the content and also we have to edit the content so first of all I just I can see that there is a gear icon and uh, if I click on this so I get lot of option so always remember that whenever we have to make any changes in that particular course inside or we have to add any uh, content to that particular course so we need to enable this editing button on so I have to choose turn editing on and the moment I click on turn editing on I can see here that there is a option drag and drop files to add to resources and also you will observe that the G uh, this arrow crossed arrow have been added and also it is allowing me to edit title and I can get some other icon I can get one add an activity resources and uh, below that I get I'm getting add a block so all these I will be getting only when I click on turn um, editing on so editing is on and now I can do whatever I want so let me start with the beginning first uh, here I can make the changes in the name of announcement if I don't like this so I can make it daily announcement or course announcement I can write here course announcement so I can see that uh, course announcement and I hit enter so I can see that the name is changed similarly there are some other setting which can be done here either it can be moved right or if you don't want this to be displayed in the student um, uh, front page or student screen so you can hide it also so the moment I click on hide you can see that there is an option uh, means uh, information uh, or uh, text is displayed hidden from students so when the students log in in their account they will not be able to see the this announcement so I just click on so the other options available in that du duplicate if I click on duplicate you can notice that it has created the duplicate announcement so this is also one good feature 
uh, of saving time by creating a duplicate announcement so it may take little time based on the system speed so you can see here that uh, course announcement 2 it has come now if I change it uh, the last date for submission is April 10 so this is my second announcement and I uh, can see that it is in the uh, means uh, visibility mode so you student when they log in they will be able to get I mean see the announcement and also we can assign the role if you want the role can be assigned so assign role in forum last date of submission is please choose a role to assign so which role you want to assign to this particular uh, announcement so you can do accordingly so I'm not going to make any changes here because uh, uh, later we'll discuss and the other option that is the add an activity or resource so this will be common to all the uh, week or section you can say so when I click on this it will open you can see that add an activity or resource so these are the activities which you can add for example you want to add any URL page label so you are adding the content for the student for that particular course suppose uh, you have an assignment so you can uh, add the assignment you have an, if you want chat to be enabled or if you want choice database or suppose you have any book or any file or any folder so anything whatever the activity you choose here so you can add so I just click on file and let's see that how does it add now it is adding a new file so I just click on course content I write here course content and I can describe here that this course content is related to the topic assigned to you all for week 1 and uh, I can attach the files suppose I get the file here and I attach this file and upload this then appearance how it is going to appear automatic so size display open in pop-up so I'm not going to change the appearance but you have always the option of showing the size showing topic type upload modified date everything and then you can move to the next common module setting uh, this is the show on course space or hide from a student so this is up to you and then restrict access if you want to restrict it for example date grade user profile restriction set so you can set here for example date prevent access until you can specify any date and after that it won't be uh, means except may visible require a student to achieve a specific grade uh, a specified grade or control access based on field within the student profile or add a set so all these you can do from here then activity completion you can always set the date completion tracking a student can manually mark the activity as completed and expected completion date if I enable this you can see this is enabled so I can give the date here and uh, I can tag it also this course content so for example I tag it with some of the keywords and then competencies competency is the the course competency you can assign accordingly and upon activity completion so you have to attach evidence send for review or complete the competency so this is all about how we add one activity let me let me uh, tell you that this is about one activity and likewise there are many activity which can be attached to one particular course or one particular week so now you can see that one activity has been added to this particular activity and uh, similarly we can add anywhere 
and uh, the best part of this that you can drag it and leave in any week or suppose if you think that okay this announcement is for this particular area or this announcement for or this course content is relevant for this week so this is the very flexible module and uh, you can move around the model uh, easily and you can um, instruct add the content accordingly so likewise there are some other activity uh, we will be discussing uh, one by one but i have taken example of one file and uh, we have seen that how we can edit and how we can uh, edit add the announcement and how we can add the the content uh, as a file so in uh, next video we will see the other options available in the course along with the activities